adventures of Ozzie and Harriet, starring the entire Nelson family. Here's Ozzie. Here's Harriet. Here's David. And here's Ricky. Here they are, America's favorite family, the Nelson. Tonight's Adventures of Ozzie and Harriet is brought to you by new Super Anahist Cold Tablets. Help you feel better, look better, and enjoy life in spite of your cold. Super Anahist Tablets. Can't stay in bed with a cold as you should? Now a new tablet acts in minutes to help you get up and feel better. Get up and look better. Get up and enjoy life. Yes, really enjoy life in spite of your cold. The secret? A 100% new exclusive formula, Super Anahist Cold Tablets. New Super Anahist helps relieve congestion and soreness in sinuses, upper chest, throat, so you feel better. New Super Anahist helps dry up runny nose, clear watery eyes, get rid of that puffy look so you look better. And Super Anahist helps relieve headache, fever, muscle aches, and maintain body resistance so you can enjoy life in spite of your cold. Yes, with new Super Anahist, you can feel better, look better, and really enjoy life in spite of your cold. Remember, only one cold tablet has this 100% new formula. Only 100% new Super Anahist cold tablets. Well, hi, fellas. Hi, hi, Mr. Nelson. Oh, let's just have a little meeting here? Yeah, were we making too much noise? No, 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 that's okay. What's on the agenda? Where? <laughs> I mean, what's the meeting all about? Oh, nothing much. Heck, it isn't. We need ten dollars. You leave Mr. Nelson alone. He has problems of his own. Well, I, I still might be able to help you guys out. Uh, what do you need the money for? It's kind of a secret. Well, I, I don't want to pry into any of your secrets. Say you need ten dollars, huh? Yes, sir. No, we don't. We only need nine dollars. We already get a dollar fifty cent. <laughs> well, let me think a little. Maybe I can give you some ideas. As a kid, we did a lot of things to raise money. Like what? Well, let's see. I used to help my mother wash the dishes. We could have a dishwasher. Oh. <laughs> well, say, I, I tell you what. During the summer, we used to set up a lemonade stand and sell lemonade. Of course, it might be a little late in the season for that now. No, I like me too, I'm thirsty. Let's go buy some. We got a dollar and a half. No, 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 wait a second, you guys. The idea is to make money, not spend it. Yeah, but how are we doing? Well, you take your capital, that's your dollar and a half, invest in some lemons and some sugar and uh, some paper cups, then you put up a little stand and you're in business. Yeah, but how much money will we make? <laughs> well, that depends on a lot of things. Uh, how good your lemonade is, where you set up your stand, how much you charge, and how many relatives you have. That sounds like a good idea to me. Let's go get the stuff. Yeah, thanks, Mr. Nelson. Okay, yeah. fellas. So long. Hey, this is gonna be fun. Hey, wait a minute. Suppose it rains. Well, we'll just add some more lemons. <laughs> Ozzy. Oh, hi. You need some help? No, thank you. I'm just wondering if you'd noticed our front lawn. Oh, come on. I just cut it a couple of days ago. It couldn't possibly grow that fast. No, I don't mean that. I just wondered how long we've been in business. Well, what are you talking about? Well, as I came in the driveway, I noticed a bunch of kids out there putting up a stand on our front lawn. Well, you're kidding. Oh. Uh, that's a, a lemonade stand. Oh, I know that, but why are they putting it up on our front lawn? Uh, well, I mentioned something to them uh, about selling lemonade. That's what I thought. But I, I didn't tell them to put the stand up on our front lawn. Oh, it doesn't make any difference. Well, yes, it does. It's a lot of nerve. Well, what are you going to do? I'll probably buy some lemonade. <laughs> well, hi, fellas. Hi, hi Mr. Nelson. How do you like a lemonade stand? Well, it's... It's very nice. There's no camp. We keep it here. It's a good location. Well, yeah, I, I guess so. We can move it if you want. Only thing, though, it sure would be a lot of trouble. And it's heavy, too. <laughs> uh, I, I, I guess you can keep it here. In fact, I'll be your first customer. Gee, thanks a lot, Mr. Nelson. One lemonade. Come right up. Hey, Mr. Nelson. Oh, thank you. 
Well, I guess that's a uh, five cent system. Not you, Mr. Nelson. It's all in the house. Be our guest. Oh. <laughs> well, gee, thanks, fellas, but uh, really, I, I think I ought to pay the same as everybody else. No, we insist. <laughs> well, okay. Here's to you, boys. Needs a little more sugar. Oh, yeah, I forgot the sugar. I sure wish you could get the customers. Well, yeah. give it a little time. You, you just got set up. Hey, here comes the car. I guess they didn't see our sign. Well, you can't expect them all to stop. Here you go, Mr. Nelson. Oh, thank you. Is that better? Uh, uh, yeah, that's, uh, that, that's got plenty of sugar. Here comes another car. Gee, nobody stops. Well, I, I wouldn't worry about it. You just got to be patient. Well, I'll see you guys. Mr. Nelson? Uh, yeah? You didn't finish your lemonade. Oh. <laughs> well, good luck, boys. Mr. Nelson? Yeah? You owe us five cents. <laughs> I thought you said it was on the house. That was the first one on top of sugar. Oh. <laughs> Well, here we are. Thanks, Mr. Nelson. Okay, good luck, boys. Bye. 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 Hey, 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 how come you're so interested? Well, it was kind of my idea. See, the kids are trying to raise some money. Oh, haven't they had any customers? Well, a few of the parents have been over, and I've bought a couple. It's too bad it isn't a warmer day. Yeah, that'd sure help. Maybe we ought to go out and buy some more. Are you kidding? I just had some. Well, so did I. You talking about that lemonade out there? Well, yeah. Well, I just had some. Boy, it's really awful. Oh, come on, you guys. Do you remember when you were little kids trying to raise some money selling lemonade? Well, as long as you put it that way, I guess one more wouldn't kill us. Well, I hope not. Come on, I'll join you. We'll have a double. Uh, uh Pop, uh, they were just stirring it when I came in. Well, what about it? Well, uh, couldn't we wait for about five minutes until all that sugar settles? <laughs> oh, come on. left and it's getting kind of late. Ricky? Thank you. David? Thank you. Harriet? Well, here's to a successful M&A business. Here, here. here. Time for dinner, fellas. Oh, gee, thanks a lot, Mr. Nelson. But we have to go home for dinner. Oh, no, uh, that's what I mean. Uh, we're starting to get calls from your mothers. It's time for you guys to go home. Hey, business must have picked up. The lemonade's almost gone. No, we had to pour some of it out. My frog jumped in it. <laughs> he sure likes lemonade. Uh, how'd you guys make out? We got $1.35. Oh, that's not too bad. 
Yeah, but we started out with a dollar fifty. Oh, you mean you lost money? Yeah, we had to buy lemons and sugar and paper cups. Thanks anyway, Mr. Nelson. Oh, well, gee, I, I'm sorry, boys. I guess it wasn't such a good idea of mine. It wasn't your fault, Mr. Nelson. I guess people just weren't thirsty today, except Mr. Nelson. Oh. <laughs> uh, I'm a big lemonade man. Would you like to have the rest of this? Oh, uh, no thanks. Uh, why don't you guys drink it? Not me. I'm sick of it. Me too. <laughs> What was that? It's my frog. He's sick of it, too. <laughs> well, that was a good show. Oh, yeah. Well, I thought you were watching it. Well, I... I was, sort of. I, I, I keep worrying about Barry and the kids. Here they were trying to raise $10, and I lose 15 cents for them. Well, it wasn't your fault. You tried. Well, I know, but I, I feel responsible. How did Dave and Ricky used to raise money? They used to get an allowance. Yeah, but I mean when they needed extra money. Well, they used to collect bottles occasionally, didn't they? Hey, that's right. And newspapers, too. And they'd sell them to the junk man. Barry and the kids could do that. Yeah, I guess so. They still have junk men. Oh, I'm sure they do. I'll tell them about it in the morning. Well, I'm going upstairs to bed. You coming? Oh, yeah, I think I'll get something to eat first. I wish I knew whether that frog jumped in the lemonade before or after I had that last cup. What frog? Oh, <laughs> it, it, it was nothing. Ozzy, what frog? <laughs> for them. They're not lazy. They've been going all over the neighborhood, gathering up old newspapers and bottles. Yeah, we've got a lot of papers and magazines out in our garage. I, I know. I promised them those. Got yourself off the hook anyway. Well, I sure hope so after that lemonade fiasco. But well, at least they can't lose any money on this. <laughs> it's Barry. Hi, Mr. Nelson. Oh, hi, Barry. Got all the papers and bottles. You want to see all this stuff. <laughs> well... Good for you. Where is it? Right out here in the yard. Oh. Come on. My goodness, you did collect a lot, didn't you? Yeah, and I think we can get some more, too. This sure is a good way to make money. Sure is. Mr. Nelson? Yeah? When do we get the money? Well, as soon as you sell all the stuff. You take the bottles down to the store and sell the papers to a junk man. What junk man? Well, any junk man. I don't know. Maybe you can look one up in the phone book. I'll tell you what. I'll look one up for you and give him a call, okay? Gee, thanks a lot, Mrs. Nelson. Uh, meanwhile, why don't you guys get this stuff organized? Suppose you sort out all the bottles and put them to one side, and then we'll put them in boxes, and I'll go in the kitchen and get some string, and we can bundle up the papers, okay? Okay. Come on, you guys. Let's get to work. Yeah. Boy, we ought to get a lot of money for this stuff. Maybe even $10. Boy, we got to have that much. All right, fellas. Hi, Rick. Hey, well, what's all this? Well, the boy's been collecting bottles and papers so they can sell them and make some money like you and Dave used to do. Sure got a lot of them. We're going to sell them for $10. Oh, good. Uh, Pop? Yeah? I hate to tell you this, but times have changed. Well, most of these bottles are marked no deposit, no return. Well, no kidding. 
What's that mean? It means he collected them for nothing. No, 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 wait a second. You, you could probably sell some of them. Well, not many of them, though. Well, look, uh, uh, don't get too discouraged, fellas. You've still got all the papers. Ozzy. Yeah? I've got some bad news about the papers. Well, uh, like what? Well, I called a couple of junk dealers, but it seems they don't buy papers anymore. Well, they used to. Well, times have changed, I guess. Well, looks like he wasted another day. Just like the lemonade stand. Yeah. I guess I better get out of here. Uh, but look, look, fellas, I, I'm, I'm awfully sorry. That's okay, Mr. Nelson. I guess that was a good idea in the old days. Come on, you guys. No, 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 wait a second. I just got an idea. I, I'll pay you $10 to haul all this junk away. No, you don't have to do that, Miss Nelson. It wasn't your fault. Yeah, we know you meant well. Come on, you guys. Thanks just the same. Coconut, tender, juicy coconut, enhanced with a touch of vanilla, delectable as only Peter Paul coconut can be. Then add chocolate, deep, dark chocolate, the finest kinds of chocolate, delightfully blended for that famous coconut. Together, the perfect taste treat of coconut and chocolate, yours to enjoy in every luscious double bar. Peter Paul Chocolate Coconut Mounds. Indescribably delicious. For a new indescribably delicious candy, try Almond Cluster. Almonds, chocolate, and malted milk. That's Peter Paul Almond Cluster. Now, as soon as the water has come to a boil, reduce the flame and add the diced carrots. While this is simmering, prepare your white sauce. Be sure that it isn't too thick. Now let's see how our muffins are coming. What are you watching, Pop? Oh, uh, the news. Oh, yes, they're doing beautifully. And now for our salad dressing. <laughs> Must have been pretty dull at the United Nations today. Uh, well, at least it was the news. I guess I've been worrying about the kids trying to raise the $10. But what do they want the money for, anyway? Well, who knows, some secret project. You know how kids are. Is it trying to build a spaceship or something? Whatever it is, I haven't been much help to them. Well, I've got an idea how they could raise some money. Well, I hope it's better than my ideas. Well, I was just thinking you could hire him to do some things around here. Like wash the car, mow the lawn, stuff like that. Hey, yeah, that, that sounds good. They all pitched in, they could raise the money in no time. It's a good idea, Rick. Thanks a lot. I'm glad to help. Look, uh, are you guys still interested in earning that $10? Yeah, we sure are. Well, I, I have another idea for you. No, no, no. <laughs> This is a good one. Uh, how would you guys like to do some work around the house for me? What kind of work? Uh, well, I was thinking about uh, mowing our back lawn. Hey, that sounds like fun. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, let's go, fellas. Come on, you guys. I get to mow the lawn first. You do not. I do. I never mowed a lawn before. Neither did I. Me neither. <laughs> Where's the motor? Must have fell off. That's one of the more fashion kind you have to push. Okay, you can go first. I will not. You go first. We'll push. <laughs> I'll do it. Uh, look, fellas, uh, I'm afraid this isn't going to work. We can do it, Mr. Nelson. <laughs> Are they finished mowing the lawn already? No, uh, they couldn't quite handle it. They're a little too young. I've got them on another job. Oh, what are they doing now? They're washing my car. <laughs> Barry! Barry! What's the matter, Mr. Nelson? <laughs> Mr. Nelson? Yeah? How can you tell weeds from flowers? <laughs> well, that all depends. Why, what's the trouble? You know those things out there by your front door? Are they weeds? No, no, those are Mrs. Nelson's marigolds. Oh, okay, don't worry about them. Hey, Barry, we have to put them back! <laughs> uh, uh, Barry, uh, fellas? Ozzie, 
Yeah? Well, Barry's mother just called. His lunch is ready. Oh. Hey, Kim, where's Barry? I don't know. Barry! Barry! I'm up here! I'm in the room! Don't, don't move. Stay right where you are. I'll, I'll get a ladder. Stay right there. I bet you we could paint something for you. How about your back fence? Well, I, I just painted it a couple of weeks ago. Would you like a birdhouse so I can make you a birdhouse? <laughs> well, I, I, I think you guys have earned the money already. Gee, we haven't even worked an hour yet. We haven't done anything. We broke a flower pot. Look, uh, why don't I pay you guys $10 and we'll call it even? No, we couldn't take $10, Mr. Nelson. We have a million. Well, I think you have. You've certainly tried hard enough. Oh, gee, thanks a lot, Mr. Nelson. We'll get somewhere. Come on, you guys. Let's all meet and get the clubhouse. <laughs> thanks for Mr. Nelson. Thanks, Mr. Nelson. Yes, thanks. Mr. Nelson. Give them the $10? Well, I tried to, but they wouldn't take it. They said they hadn't earned it. Well, I must say they're certainly honest. Yeah, they sure are. They're just too young for that kind of work. Hey, look, here's an idea. Suppose I should happen to lose a $10 bill right near their clubhouse where they'd be sure to find it. That'd solve our whole problem. But it's not your problem. Well, in a way it is. If I hadn't come up with those ridiculous ideas, they probably would have had the money a week ago. Well, it still doesn't make much sense to lose a $10 bill in a vacant lot. Oh, I guess you're right. But you're going to do it anyway. <laughs> uh, Harriet. Okay, meeting come to order. Come on, you guys, let's quiet down. We still need ten dollars. The question is, how are we going to get it? Let's not ask Mr. Nelson again. Heck no! <laughs> It's my lucky day. Yeah, I know. It's my ten dollars. I just dropped it there. Well, it's mine now. I just found it. Finders keepers. No, no, no. I dropped it there on purpose so the kids could find it. Oh, come on, Oz. No, no, no. no. See, it's kind of a long story, but the kids need ten dollars, and I want to give it to them without their knowing who did it. You know, Oz, uh, sometimes I think you're some kind of a... Uh, some kind of a nut, but nevertheless, it's true. Now, give me the ten dollars. I want to put it back. Scout's honor? Scout's honor. <laughs> I must say, it's been a very short lucky streak. <laughs> Hi, Ma. Hi, Rick. Hi, Rick. Hi, Pop. Hey, did you hear the news? What news? I was talking to Barry, and he and the kids found a $10 bill over in the vacant lot. <laughs> Harriet, did you hear that? Barry and the kids found a $10 bill. Amazing. It must have been <laughs> fate. <laughs> What's so funny? Well, uh, your mother and I sort of knew about it. You should have seen the expression on their faces when they found it. <laughs> Were you there? Hiding in the bush. Oh, what says? <laughs> well, see, uh, I accidentally lost it so the kids could find it. Anyway, it solves their money problem. Now they've got their ten dollars. <laughs> it's just pretty funny. This will hand you another laugh. After the kids found the money, they took it down to the police station and turned it in. <laughs> what did they do that for? What's wrong with these kids? Maybe they're just honest. Well, I realize it was the right thing to do, but it was incons... Oh. <laughs> Where are you going? Down to the police station. Well, wait for me. <laughs> So I decided to lose the money and let them find it. Uh, just a minute, sir. You're getting a little ahead of me. Now, what did you say your name was? Uh, Ozzie Nelson. Oh, yes. And what was this about a lemonade stand? Well, uh, actually, that was incidental. See, I carefully placed the $10 where the kids could find it. Uh, then you're claiming it's your $10. Yeah, that's right. I don't suppose you'd know the serial number. <laughs> well, I'll vouch for him, Sergeant. It was his. I know I gave it to him. Oh, I believe you. It's just that it's a little confusing. Just sign here, please. Okay, thank you. I'll get your money. No, 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 no. No, I, I don't want the money. Well, it's yours, isn't it? Well, yes, but I'm trying to give it to the kids that found it. Without their knowing it. Well, but I'm supposed to return it to the rightful owner. Uh, but I want the kids to have it. 
Uh, wait a minute. Couldn't we give them a reward? Yes, you could do that. Well, could you call the kids and tell them that the people who lost the money left them a reward? Oh, sure. That's done all the time. How much do you want to give them? Well, uh, uh, all of it. The, the $10. Oh, okay. It's your money. <laughs> and you won't let them know it's from us, will you? Well, not if you don't want me to. And you'll make sure that they get it? Oh, yes, sir. It's right here. Darn it. Hey, Ed, would you bring up Hairpin Harry for a minute? Got a job for him. Ozzy? Yeah? There's somebody here to see you. Oh, good morning, fellas. Hi, Mr. Nelson. Look at this, we got our picture in the paper. Hey, how about this? We found some money and turned it over to the police. Yeah, we're heroes. Well, I should say you are. Well, this is great, fellas. We got a reward, ten dollars. <laughs> well, that's fine. Glad to hear it, and you deserve it, too. You're fine boys. Yeah, that's what it says in the paper. And the best part of it is, at last you've got your ten dollars. Yeah. Hey, Mr. Nelson, it's for you. Me? B what for? Well, we had a little accident the other day. We were trying to throw the baseball over your house and it smashed your window. You can get it fixed for ten dollars. Oh. Well, gee, I, I noticed our, our attic window was broken, but I, I never would have known who did it. Well, honestly, it's the best policy. <laughs> yeah, it, it sure is. Mr. Nelson? Yeah? Would you mind going up in the attic for me and get my baseball? You can't miss it. It has my name on it. <laughs> well, sure thing. But first, I think this calls for a celebration. How about a big dish of chocolate ice cream? Yeah! Come on, boy. <laughs> When you buy gasoline, don't make the octane mistake. Let the mobile living engine show you a better way to buy gasoline. You see your motor from the outside. Your gasoline sees it from the inside. Octane ratings measure only two of your motor's needs. But now comes mobile with the Megatane rating system, which measures 21 of your motor's needs. Not just octane, but 21 of your motor's needs. While no gasoline has a perfect Megatane rating of 21, Mobile Premium at 19 rates highest. Mobile Regular with 16 rates higher than any leading regular gasoline. And we say the higher the Megatane rating, the better your motor will run. You probably won't notice the difference at first, but your car will run stronger, keep younger, last longer with Mobile. 5, 10, 20,000 miles from now, your motor will know the difference when it's Mobile. Visit your Mobile dealer. Get details of the Megatane system. Tonight's Adventures of Ozzy and Harriet was brought to you by Peter Paul. Mm, these Peter Paul almond clusters. Well, you try them. Like mounds, they're indescribably delicious. <laughs>